Ever you think that how are these top documentary channels or faceless channels creating this kind of awesome documentary thumbnails? These thumbnails are getting millions of views. Don't worry, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of documentary thumbnails for your video easily. So let's get started. This video is in two parts. First, I will show you how to create a perfect documentary background. In the second part, I will show you how you use different topics of videos and create the thumbnails using that background easily in. For the background, I'm going to collect some of the images that I actually need. You can see these images that I have collected from different sources and Googles and everywhere. And I'm going to put all of them and to create that background first. For first, I'm going to start with a blank document. And this is a full HD size of blank document that I'm going to use to create that thumbnail. For first, I'm going to put a background image in the background. Then I'm going to scale that image and I'm going to adjust the size of the image according to our document. After that, apply Gaussian blur into the background. And then I'm going to apply a solid color. Choose any kind of color that you like and I'm going to select this color and I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to change the blending mode into soft light. After that, I'm going to put that blackboard and I'm going to adjust the size and according to our document, we're going to adjust it perfectly. After adjusting the size of the blackboard, then I'm going to apply some of the adjustment layer to make the correction of the color of that blackboard, like a brighten up or darken it down. It actually depends on your eye because how you like to apply that adjustment layer because it doesn't have any kind of certain rules that you have to be applied. After applying the brightness into the blackboard, I saw that the chalks are very bright enough, so I have to turn it down. After selecting the layer mask of the curved layer, I'm going to use the brush tool to remove that brightness from that chalk. Now after adding that blackboard, now I'm going to add all of the images or all of the elements that I have downloaded for the background. Now I'm going to take some time to create this one because it's going to take a lot of time to create that background because this is a really professional background that I'm creating for that documentary so that I can use in a different way. Like if you want to use that one, you can use that multiple way, multiple background or for multiple thumbnails. So you can easily do that. So that's why I'm going to take some time and create that perfectly. And now finally you can see I have created the background perfectly. I use a like cold frost to brighten up and brighten down and to create that environment of mysterious to the background so that I can use it multiple way. Now you can see it's already done. Now with the final things that I need to add some of the dollars in the foreground of that background to make it more interesting. So I'm going to use that one and then I'm going to finish it up.
and then we are done. Next, we're going to dive into the second part. For first, I'm going to put images into that photo frame. We're going to take some time to apply that photos into the frame perfectly as we can. And also, I'm going to change the images that have already in that board. After applying that photos into the frame, next step, we're going to apply text or like brushstroke to write down all the things that on this note to create a really dynamic look into the background. Now write anything that you want. For me, I'm going to write down one of the things that I have in my mind right now. The next step, we're going to work on the foreground of that thumbnail. For now, I'm going to apply images into the foreground. After adding the images, I'm going to remove all of the images background and I'm going to also adjust the size and also apply brush stroke to minimize that and also create that illusion effect that all the images is side by side so that it's look really attractive to the audience. After removing the background of the images, the next step, we're going to apply drop shadow into the background and also we're going to add to brighten up the images and tone it down perfectly according to our thumbnail. Do the same thing for all of the images perfectly. For the left images, you can see the color is not matching with the other two images. So to that, I'm going to apply some yellow using the curve tool to make it more realistic and also adjust the color according to these other three images. Now we're going to work on the background. We're going to add a red color into the background so that it's create a depth of that dangerous look for the thumbnails because this is a criminal crime or criminal thumbnails that can to be give a dangerous look. So that's why we're going to use a red color in the background. Then I'm going to adjust all the colors and apply more deep color into the bottom of the thumbnail to create that illusion. And for the final, I'm going to use a brush stroke. I'm going to use that brush stroke and I'm going to adjust perfectly create that one because I'm going to put the title or the criminal name on it over here. So that's why I'm going to use that brush stroke because brush stroke is work fine for like to create attract or just attract any kind of viewer's eye. So that's why I'm going to use that brush stroke. So I'm going to adjust it perfectly. After applying the brush stroke, now we're going to brighten up the background of the images to create that highlight effect. So the subject is stand out. After adding the highlight, I'm going to add a text into the behind of the subject so that the subject more stand out. You can follow my steps and create that text effect easily. And for the final step of the thumbnails, now we're going to add that killer name. Like his name is Alain. So I'm going to use that name and also apply that text effect to make it more stand out. I'm going to do all of the things that necessary to stand out the text and also that uh, what is all about, like what the thumbnail is all about, what is her name. So this is why I'm going to add a text and I'm going to apply a text effect. You can just follow my steps and easily because it's going to be hard for me to explain everything because you can you understand that the video is going to be very long. So this is why I'm going to start it down and you can just follow my step and to create that text effect easily for the thumbnail.
and for final you can see we created the thumbnails and also we are almostly done the final step is to remain on that camera filter so we're going to use the camera filter to pop it up and also apply all of the color that necessary to create the thumbnails more stand out After applying the camera filter, now you can see we are almost done to create the thumbnail and you can see it's very high looking. Now this thumbnail is editable so if you want to download the background or the thumbnails, you can just use that multiple times to create a dynamic look for your documentary videos. It's going to stand out for any kind of thumbnail. So if you want to download that thumbnail, just check the link in the description. And also if you like this video, hit that like button. And so let me know your comments in the downs below because I want to let you know what is your opinion about my tutorials and what you want to learn to learn next. So you can just let me know in the comments. So that's it for today. See you in my next video. Till then, bye bye.